The Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion drama continues as yesterday Nicki planned to release her diss track on Megan. Although Nicki was denying it being a diss track about her, despite the fact that she tweeted this photo of Megan along with the cover art for her song writing tomorrow 3 p.m. PST hashtag Bigfoot. She had also tweeted out saying that she had five other songs ready writing after the first one drop. If that so much as breathe wrong, I'm gonna empty the clip. If that deny one thing I say, I'm posting every effing receipt known to man. Five, yes, you heard me, did five extra songs. We've been waiting on you. Play Pink Friday 2, nonstop barbs, love you. It's certainly clear who she was talking about based on all of her other tweets. And it was also clear that it was pretty much gonna be a diss track based on everything that's been going on, but she still denied it when the Twitter account Popface tweeted out saying, Nicki Minaj says she has five extra songs ready if Megan Thee Stallion denies anything said on her new track, Bigfoot. Nicki quote tweeted this and said, never said that ugly name, stop lying on me. You want engagement so bad, I'ma put your real name on the second song just for the and giggles, go to bed. Nicki had also replied to another one of Pop Bass's tweets that said cover art for Nicki Minaj's Meg Thee Stallion diss track, Bigfoot. Nicki quote tweeted this and said, who the F said diss track? Don't play it tonight, fix your tweet. Pop Bass ended up replying and said, well, what do you call it then? Now, if you missed my video the other day, this whole drama began when Megan released her new song titled Hiss, where one of the lines in the song is, these blank don't be mad at Megan, these blank mad at Megan's law. And Megan Megan's law is the law that requires law enforcement to make it public who is a registered offender. You know, the kind that can't go to schools and playgrounds, you know what I mean. And Nikki took this extremely personally and felt this was an attack on her family because her husband and her brother are both registered offenders. And ever since she heard this song, she's been going off on Megan for coming for her family, retweeting negative things about her, talking about her mother who passed in 2019, referring to her as Bigfoot, which is a reference to the shooting where Megan was shot in the foot. She's also shared that Megan Megan at one point in time had tried to get her to drink alcohol while she was trying to get pregnant and told her to not go through with that pregnancy if she were to get pregnant. It's gotten extremely messy as you can tell, but Meg has not responded to Nikki really. The only thing that she has posted was this Instagram story after Nikki shared a sample of her new song where she was saying to get up on your good foot. Now, both of them have extremely loyal fans and they also have shared fans. It seems a majority of the people want Nikki to just probably give it a rest and put her phone down because because Megan hasn't responded to her, but there are those fans that are totally defending her and responding to like everything that she is posting, hyping her up. There's definitely a lot of reactions that have been going around, that's for sure. But Nikki has been retweeting and tweeting so much stuff. She said, it's been ready for two days, just was trying to be cool and let her get her little streams. Wasn't gonna say anything, but I remember how everyone kept my name in their mouth and how I said the next person mentioned my family gonna regret it. By the way, they haven't even heard the song who said it's even a diss never even knew I had this much power. She also tweeted directly at Meg, writing, you scary blank, broke blank, scared of me putting a song out, but trying to spar with the mother effing queen, lied on your dead, at the stallion. She also retweeted someone that said, watch Meg twist this into Nikki bullying her after provoking her. And Nikki also liked a tweet from someone who was trying to make it seem like Megan was lying about ever being shot in the foot. The tweet included a video of Megan talking about the situation and said, so if you were shot in both of your feet then how were you standing and this was the video of megan uh, i was shot in both of my feet nikki also retweeted this about megan that said so let me get this straight megan knew nikki was trying to get pregnant and she still tried to shove alcohol down her throat Megan slept with her best friend's man and allowed her best friend to be dragged all over the internet. Megan suggested Nikki go to the clinic when she knew she was happily trying to get pregnant. Megan had surgery on her body, but lies on the internet to make people believe she's been going to the gym. Megan did a PSA for mental health, but continues to make fun of addiction in her music, specifically targeting women. Megan called her parent best friend racial slurs behind her back and used to laugh at her publicly on Instagram Live. Megan dissed Rihanna for no reason and falls out with every female she interacts with, but this is your girl's girl. Nikki fans have been riding for her hard though. The ones who haven't expressed worry in all of her tweets and such have been defending her name against anyone who has something critical to say. One TikToker admitted to being a fan back in the day, but came for Nikki hard in this scenario, and he ended up getting so much backlash that he ended up deleting what he said. Minaj is essentially the Dr. Seuss 
use of her time. And what I mean when I say that is she's objectively a disgusting and reprehensible person by pretty much all metrics of basic humanity and common decency, yet her one singular talent that appears to be an innate ability to rhyme words together in a silly fashion that particularly resonates with children has cemented her with a legacy she really does not deserve as much as many female rappers who came before her. In case you're not already up to date, the self-proclaimed queen of has spent the past 24 hours deflecting from the fact that her husband is a convicted who is not allowed near public parks or elementary schools by making fun of Megan the Stallion for getting shot as well as referring to her as Bigfoot. It's always amusing to me how Nicki Minaj immediately jumps to making fun of other people's appearances as if she didn't spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in 2008 getting illegal Craigslist butt injections from some guy in his basement. And not just that, she lied about it for 10 years and only confessed after her cheeks were visibly deflating in public and everybody could already tell. And listen, I'm not at all reveling in the fact that she's a terrible person. I was a very big Nicki Minaj fan growing up. Ask anybody who went to middle school with me. I loved her so much. I would defend her to anybody who would listen. I saw her doing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put her in and I was like, huh, finally some real music. However, around 2018, when she started intentionally surrounding herself with Offenders. I kind of fell off the wagon. She was announcing her associations with them faster than she was dropping new music. He had also accused her of being inappropriate herself in some actions and in some song lyrics that she had. And the reaction to what he said was not good. He ended up posting an apology video for what was said and claimed that the reason he deleted his video was because he started to get threats and his family members started to get threats and they were finding his address trying to locate him and all of this. Can't believe I'm making this video right now, but basically Nicki Minaj fans are attempting to dox me, messaging family members as well as people who aren't members of my family, sending them shit. apparently they got somebody's address. I am sorry. I'm so sorry that I disrespected Nicki Minaj. I saw a lot of other people doing it. I thought I'd add my two cents. I'm very sorry. I'm autistic. Sometimes things come out a lot harsher than I mean for them to come out. I don't actually think it's like the worst person ever. I do think she's done some things that I don't agree with. Please take it up with me. F f come to me. Tell me how much you f hate me. Please leave my f family members out of it. Please stop sending death threats to f children. And here's the thing. I have family members who like Nicki Minaj. I have family members who saw that video and were like, Bela, I don't agree with you. And you're f threatening people who agree with you. What kind of f sense does that make? I really don't know what else to do at this point. I did not think that video was going to go that f viral usually my videos don't go that viral especially on twitter i just i'm gonna call the cops to try and simmer this down in any way i can i don't know what the f to do i'm really sorry threatening him and his family for having an opinion is just so wild and unnecessary people have a right to say what they want whether you like it or not just like how nikki has been expressing herself online it certainly opens the door for people to push back and voice their thoughts on her thoughts and yes he put his own opinions online and that opens the door for people to criticize what he said but to threaten him and his family and try to find his address is totally crazy and i will never understand how that makes sense for anyone to use that as some sort of comeback because they don't like something that somebody said plus he's saying that some of the family members that are literally getting threats because of what he said are people that have disagreed with him posting that in the first place they're on nikki's side so it just does it makes sense that people would want to come after him and find him what's that even gonna do like truly what is that going to do he's still probably gonna think the exact same way that he was thinking before just he's getting threats so that whole thing is totally ridiculous but nikki did end up actually seeing all this go down in the apology video that he posted she replied to somebody who quote tweeted it on twitter and she said call the cops don't involve your family true dat family off limits so it seems like even Nikki is saying to leave family out of that, which is exactly her whole point about this whole thing, that she's upset that her family was brought into it. So seeing that somebody else's family is being brought into some drama doesn't seem like she's going to be giving the okay on that. So hopefully people can leave this guy alone for what he posted on TikTok. But this whole situation has truly escalated to such a degree that people cannot believe this whole thing has been trending the entire weekend. And who knows when this all will come to an end. I certainly want to know what you guys guys think if you guys have been following along and everything that Nikki has been saying what are your thoughts about her tweets the retweets the things that she's been liking the diss track that's not really a diss track that she's saying is not about Megan but she posted the picture of Megan like let me know all of your thoughts I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video bye guys